Hi, it's Peggy, and I'm just coming to you really quick. I wanted to do a quick video to share with you the new Christmas release um, uh, dynamite dies that are we're going to be doing a blog hop next week um, on dynamitediesblogspot.com, and some of us are going to get together and create um, a little blog hop. So quickly, I'm going to share the dies that I received from uh, from my design team package. So the first one is called Biddy Bow. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's called Biddy Bow. It's just a little tiny thing. It's so cute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take each one out so you can see it in person. And I didn't have the die cuts cut out yet. Normally I would have had them cut out, but I don't have them cut out yet. It's a thin wafer die. Beautiful. And when it cuts out, it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna be cute. Alright, so that's that one. Ooh, I love this one. This one's called the Scrolly Deer. Look at that. Isn't that scrumptious? And I'll tell you the number. Um, on the bow one, let me back up. On the bow one, it is um, uh, 1237. DN-1237 dash for the bow. And for the Scrolly Deer, um, the item number is dn one two zero nine. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And see how it looks small here, but when you flip it over, look how big this die is. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with this die. So here it is in person. Look at that. That is so huge. And then when you flip it over, it looks like this. And these little holes are for you to take um, your paper piercer and sometimes even the sharp ends of my scissors and you just poke it through there and it helps release the paper from the die. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Actually, you could even die cut this out and put the little bow on it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to play with that around. So there's the deer. The next one is another one, uh, another one that's an itty bitty and it is called... Uh, Biddy North Pole DN1238 and it's a little North Pole sign. Look how cute is that? How adorable. So let's take it out of the package because sometimes you know you want to see the die in, out of the package because it's totally different. So there's the North Pole and here it is. Look how little. Look how cute is that? Stick it on there. Look how cute. I'll show you a close-up. Look how cute. My hands look horrible. but And it's got the uh, North Pole. I love it. It's so cute. It's going to be cute on a, on a, it could be on a layout, on a cute card. So the next one is um, called a Bullfinch, and it's DN1218. And look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. So, oh, it's kind of dark here today. I'm sorry. My house is kind of like closed up because it's been so hot and humid. And then today is like only like 78 degrees and cool. Yesterday I was sweating like a dog. Today I have socks and sweatshirt on. So get that. So here's the dye. So here's the little bullfinch. Isn't that cute? I love this. Now, one thing about using the dies is um, you need to look at it out on the outside of the box. Now, sorry, what I would do with, with this die as well as any other die is I would probably fussy cut the bird out of the branch and use the bird on um, another project. Also, I would cut this branch right here and this would make a wonderful filler on a card. Almost actually, I have a trick. I might maybe I'll make a card with this one and show you the trick I have to, to do with it. Same thing with the deer. You could, um, if you love the scroll work on this deer, so what I would do is I would just cut it off right there by his head and use that on a layout or a card or whatnot. So then the next one is called it's an Holly Corner and it's DN 1212. Um, and this is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? It's not the best lighting. I'm sorry today. I probably should have turned my overhead on. Plus, we rearranged the house, so I'm trying a new angle and a new location. 
I don't know, we'll see. So here it is. Now that looks really tiny right there, right? It looks tiny, but look how big that is. So it's 50% bigger than what it looks like on here. It's huge. That's a nice big corner die. And what's nice about corner dies is you can use them as fillers. So think about that when you're when you're when you're picking out your dies. Don't just look at them for what they are. Look at them what they could be. And my last one to share with you today is Swirly Christmas Tree DN1208. And oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to try this one out. When I get my design team package, I cut them out. I cut every single one out. I don't know, multiple times. And I just leave them in the packages and that way they're ready to go. Look at this one. Look at this yummy Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the star. And look at the scroll work. So all this intricate is going to be cut out and it's going to be paper. It's going to be just the outline. It's adorable. Many places, all these little tiny things hanging down are, you could put liquid pearls on them. You could put um, Distress Glitter or any kind of glitter gel on top of those. <gasps> How beautiful. I would probably also do, you could do, you could do um, Tanya Gibbs is, uh, you could do, Tanya Gibbs has shared this before, but um, foiling, she actually is sharing it on one of her um, cards um, for the blog hop. And you could do that. You could put a little bit of adhesive on these little doll balls right here and do um, metal foil or tin, yeah, metal foil or foil on them. It'd be awesome. So that was a little, that's my dynamite dies. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this one. So there are all my dies for the blog hop. I'm super excited to play with them. And if you would like to own any of these for yourself, just go over to dynamites.com and uh, check out new release. And I hope you enjoy. And stay tuned for our blog hop, which is happening next week. And it is uh, dynamites.blogspot.com and I'll have links below in the bar. Have a great day.